Over the last year, we've been powering ahead, delivering key projects that are shaping a cleaner and more sustainable future. We've reached a milestone at Doggerbank Offshore Wind Farm with more than 50% of turbines now installed in Phase A. Completion of Doggerbank A is expected in the second half of 2025. The Shetland HVDC link was energised, connecting Shetland to the mainland grid and securing access to renewable energy via a 260km cable mostly laid in the North Sea. We powered up the Viking wind farm in Shetland. The 434 megawatt wind farm could power close to half a million homes and is now operational. We broke ground on Eastern Greenlink 2, a 4.3 billion pound 2 gigawatt HVDC subsea link between Scotland and England, connecting Peterhead to Drax in a joint venture by SSE Transmission and National Grid. SSEN trialled cutting edge net zero technology, successfully connecting a large battery to the network via a slough substation, testing its ability to maintain power during supply interruptions. We submitted planning consent for Arklow Bank Phase 2. At 800 megawatts, it's a major step toward one of Ireland's largest offshore wind farms. A feat of engineering, the Corryglass Tunnel was completed, marking a new milestone for the project which would provide 30 gigawatt hours of long duration storage for the UK if constructed. We hope to make a final investment decision on the project pending successfully securing a cap and floor agreement in an appropriately designed scheme. The Tummel Bridge power station was reopened by Scotland's First Minister after critical upgrades to secure its future. SSE invested 50 million in Tummel refurbishment to extend its life by at least another 40 years. In Southampton, our £8 million net zero network project reached a major delivery milestone, preparing the city for a low carbon future. Meanwhile, our new two kilometre subsea cable began delivering reliable, resilient electricity to Isla Endura a lifeline for remote communities. Meanwhile, Kinadoki was powered up, strengthening the backbone of our grid. The Orkney to Caithness 220 kV subsea link connected at Finstown substation, marking the start of a new substation that will link Orkney to the grid and support renewable energy transmission. December brought first power for Yellow River, a milestone moment for SSE. The 101 megawatt wind farm is now connected to Ireland's national grid, contributing to Ireland's 2030 renewable energy targets. Momentum builds. With the decision to develop Tarbot's next generation power station and the old Hydrogen Pathfinder, a technology shortlisted for UK funding as a first of its kind project combining hydrogen production, storage and power generation. From cities to islands, from homes to high voltage networks, SSE is powering progress, delivering change, building the future. We power change.